Yay, we're live. Welcome, Samira. I'm so excited to share with everyone your journey in Super Loved and what was occurring for you when you first, when we first started working together before that and the path along the way. So let's just dive in. Will you share a little bit about you and what was going on when we first met? Sure. So actually, before we met, I had already yeah. decided that, you know what, I am single and it's okay. I'm totally happy without it. Dating just seems like too much trouble. I didn't have a lot of exposure to healthy relationships. And I decided, you know what, just to protect myself, I'm going to stay out of it. And I was okay with that at that point. Um, so any invitations I got to dinner or anything like that, I just declined. On either said I was already seeing someone, you know, just because that's easier sometimes than saying <laughs> no. Um, or just politely declining and saying I'm focused on my career. But when really it was just I didn't think that I would find a, a person who would share um, what I wanted to in life. So that that's kind of where I was in the beginning. And then a friend of mine invited, there were three of us actually all together, but a friend of mine sent me a link to one of your camps, mm -hmm. the five day camps. And it sounded really odd, but I'm a learner and I'm a social learner. So I was like, you know what? I'm not really sure where this is going to go. I'm okay planning my life ahead with cats. And, mm -hmm. but you know what? I enjoy learning with friends. There's nothing but good learning that can come out of it. So embarked on the five day, absolutely loved five day. And that was the first time I think anyone ever gave me permission. It was kind of sad probably, um, but that I really had permission to ask for what I wanted, where I realized that societally I'm really conditioned to ask for what I think I can get with the least amount of conflict. Wow. Okay. Let's talk about that. Cause that's really interesting. So there, you noticed that there was definitely some kind of walls or barriers or limitations when it came to what you thought you could have or what you thought you could ask for. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So even I thought of when I was thinking about entertaining dating, I was like, well, if I can find someone and we could live in separate parts of the house, then I think I can make it work because I could keep my oddities and my weirdness to myself and have my own little space. And I never thought about looking for someone that would actually just completely accept me. Um, not who I will be in a year, but right now. Yeah, the weirdnesses. Yeah. So I didn't really ever think about a search process for that specifically. Because mm -hmm. previously, it's just meet a boy, hope he likes you, do everything you can to get him to stay. Not necessarily that you have a choice. Is that person a good fit for you? So that's something that, that was really um, impactful. The first, I think it was the first day I'm being clear on what mm -hmm. you want. I realized I had no idea what I wanted. I had only been planning for either cats, which I have nothing against cats. I plan to yeah. have cats and probably dogs too. But I realized I never ask in life in general for what I want. And I had never thought about exactly what I wanted. Yeah. I love that. So then when you did start looking at, okay, who am I? What would I love? What, what surprises were there? What were some of the things that came out that you started asking for that were different? So some of the things that I thought, I thought like, okay, maybe I was supposed to focus on career or education, or I, I thought my list would be like that, but I didn't get drawn to those things. I mean, cer certain aspects are important, but some of the things that really came to me, which I didn't know it was okay to have on my list, my number one was somebody who was kind and known in their community for being kind. Mm. So that was really important to me, not just a nice person, but a person whose actions aligned with that kindness and people knew and valued him for that. Wow. I love that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I didn't know that could be a quality that I looked for. Uh-huh. I love that quality. Mm -hmm. And would you say that, um, I mean, I'm kind of curious about the weirdnesses that you mentioned and the mm -hmm. oddities, because that was a big 
part of my own personal um, sort of wound, I would say, because I felt like, oh my gosh, I'm so weird. I'm going to have to like keep that to me and, mm -hmm. and figure out how to make someone, you know, interested in me without that part. And mm -hmm. um, it sounds like you had some similar energies. What, um, and I know you're in a relationship now, so I don't mean to do spoiler alert, but, um, <laughs> but, okay. but did you, I mean, but in the beginning, in yeah, the beginning, I wasn't. And, yeah. um, but once one of the things you told me is once I knew what I wanted, it would happen really quickly. And honestly, I was like, what kind of comment is this? I'm not really <laughs> sure, but you were completely right. Because once I knew what I was looking for, I knew what I could say no to. So I knew yes. I had to kindness. And in men, that's typically not something that people, they're known. That's, that's not something you hear a lot about. Um, so that was kind of interesting. But then kind of more the weird parts where I, I speak geek. I'm into a lot of, I, I speak library. I like to read. Um, I like things like comics and superheroes and video games, oh. anime. Um, but even just kind of overall whimsy. So my sisters and yeah. I will make up fantastical stories. Um, all of us are adults and grown up, but we still kind of engage in just whimsical fun. So I wanted somebody who could play play along with that without thinking, oh, you know, they just made up a story about a stuffed leopard that they took pictures around the house, <laughs> opening up the television, setting up the television. Yeah. So, so you have the creative, the nerd, the nerdy, the whimsy, but also the super professional because you mm -hmm. just have been rising up in your career space too. Yes. So I imagine that's, you know, I can see where, um, that's pretty exciting to be able to, you know, put all that together and go, yeah, my person's yes. like this. It was. And somebody who wasn't afraid of somebody with a career and a different mm -hmm. career or even different titles, different industry, none of it was discouraged. And so that, that uh, not just like, oh, okay, I'm looking for somebody to be homemaker and you'll need to put down your career and you'll need to do all these things. It, it was, it wasn't like that at all. So I, it was another surprising thing for me. So yeah. I kind of was able to get to my list and I, my original list did change as I started dating. You recommended um, two dating apps. So I picked uh, OkCupid and Bumble. Mm -hmm. And um, I tried a bit of both. I ended up um, overall about in about, it, it was pretty quick. Um, it was about three weeks until I met my person, but I uh, not about, but during those three weeks, I went on, I think eight dates with uh -huh. uh, different people and my list evolved each time I went on. They were all very pleasant experiences. I used your advice, like staying very clear. So like, only kind of chatting and exploring in spaces where I was having fun, where I enjoyed it, where it felt easy. And anything where I was like, well, I just skipped. It's like, good. I had to pause and wonder. It just wasn't for me. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Amazing. So eight dates, you meet your guy. Is there one specific, I mean, it sounds like getting clear was a big thing for you. Honoring yourself was a big thing for you. And actually making the choice to put yourself out there. Whereas before you were kind of leaving it on the back burner or even maybe even in the pantry or wherever <laughs> yeah. else in a different room. In the attic. Very like, deep in the basement. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, what was, was there a breakthrough moment? Mm -hmm. I mean, and how would you say coaching in a community like this was helpful for you? So learning with people is so impactful for me and my style, because this is a space where you get very vulnerable mm -hmm. and you kind of have to address a lot of insecurities, inadequacies, feelings of doubt. So that's where coaching came in. So the encouragement of inner work I was really helpful. We had a one-on-one -on -one meeting after the free camp. I really appreciated your encouragement. And then I chose, you didn't, you didn't tell me to, but I chose to do um, two classes our two 30 day events yeah. and um, the incubator. And yeah. all of those were really helpful in my journey. I don't think without it, just me personally, I would have given in to a lot of self doubt, a lot of past hurt, these kinds of things. So just having that 
positive, just hearing your voice. I would usually listen to the replays while I was driving. I did 30 days of trust um, and 30 days, I think, of believing in you. Those mm. two. So one was more centered on dating. And then another was more about really making sure I believed in myself, which I don't think I really had in life, which is amazing because I am in my industry, I believe in people all the time and I'm coaching them and I'm mentoring them and cheering them on, but I hadn't really done a lot of that for myself. Yeah. So the daily sessions were really important during this uncomfortable time. Wow. Okay. That's awesome. Um, even to my person who, when I met, um, I don't know that I would have been brave enough to engage in conversations and be myself. Even actually my first message, I was myself and I was like, crap, I was a little too myself. I sent a long message back. You're not supposed to write such a long message. But he wrote back and he said, I love a girl that's not afraid to message. And he wrote me this insanely long message back. And we chatted back and forth like that for a few days, walls and walls of texts. And people are always amazed, like how, what were you even writing about? But I don't know. I couldn't tell you a specific thing, but it was everything because he would write something, maybe about six things. I would respond back to each thing. And I was like, oh, this is my favorite. But I love that. So you obviously have a lot in common. And how long have you guys been together for now? Now three months. Awesome. Mm -hmm. That's so great. It did and really fast, though. It did. I, I mean, mean it feels like family. longer than that. Yeah. It is. Date one was meeting his whole family. Wow. Mm -hmm. And so you really connect. You've committed to being with each other. And now you're going to be moving in. Is that official? Yes, we're setting up house together. Okay. That is so exciting. I'm so happy for you. So what is it like to be in your life having a person by your side like this that gets you for you? It's really exciting overall. Um, I think just to have somebody that understands me that I didn't think could exist. I thought somebody would understand parts of me and not me completely, wholly and fully. So that's been, a, that's been so much fun. It's been a lot of fun. He adores you. Yes. I Which is, love is, it. It's kind of, it, it is a little bit difficult because I was still kind of working through that because I'm so used to doubt. Right. Yeah. Well, relationship evolves and grows and expands and I'm really happy for you. And I know that this is going to help other people have hope and get out of doubt too. Is there one thing that you would want to say to someone who is maybe considering taking a class or joining the incubator or doing super loved that if they're on the fence that you would want to tell them i would tell them that it's okay to invest in themselves we don't okay. typically think of a budget for ourselves and that's really a gap that needs to be addressed because this is a part of life that's going to impact the rest of our lives and to kind of self-assess, is the incubator going to be really helpful? Then do it. That's, if that's going to help you start, get out of analysis paralysis and just go for it. I love that. Thank you so much. This You're is welcome. so helpful. I appreciate um, you sharing with everyone. Yay. So come join the incubator. We have one coming up or whatever else is happening when you watch this. So thank you, Samira. Bye, everyone.